Well, five questions. I guess I knew they were going to be loaded because, I mean, the last one were, this, this ought to be fun. If I could change something in my life, what would it be? Uh, probably would have uh, went to college when I was supposed to. Probably could have gotten a scholarship, stayed in high school like I should have. You know, a whole bunch of things I could have changed. But uh, I thought I was kind of thinking, hoping we were going to portray to uh, why we're atheists or whatever, but I guess. I don't know what else to say about that, okay? What do you I think of the people who uh, think like I do? You mean like Christopher Hitchens and Professor Dawkins and such? And I have tons of friends that think the way I do. What do I think of them? What do you mean? You need to clarify. I obviously respect them. Or they wouldn't be part of my... people I don't want to see or whatever. I don't know what you're saying. I don't understand the question, I guess. I mean, what do I think about the people who are really... Well, what? Oh, for one thing, I realize that they're not on some hidden little agenda that they think some daddy in the sky is going to, you know, save them for after they die or something. No, that's not me. Then he asked, what's positive about theism? Uh, Really? When you think about it? Nothing. It's all about threats, punishment. You better do this, you better do that. Oh, did you put sugar on this? Yep. Oh, man. Anyway. <laughs> I, boiled, I boiled it in sugar. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And so, you put sugar in. Not that right, hot. Not that hot. Thanks, bro. A tablespoon and another tablespoon. And what is the positive thing about theism? I don't think there is any. I mean, really. I just don't, I don't, I don't understand. I, I, anything that the theists say they do in their name of their God, we all do. I've donated, I've volunteered, done things like, you know, fostered animals even and stuff. I mean, I do a lot of stuff, but. And I'm in a wheelchair. I don't have legs, and I still do. But I give myself credit for doing it. <laughs> okay? There's nothing wrong with a little bit of pride. Apparently, you guys think so, because uh, it's one of the seven deadly sins. But y'all seem to be pretty proud about being Christians. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Four people I want to meet. Isaac Asimov. <laughs> Sir Isaac Newton. Leonardo da Vinci. Actually, I can think of a way more unfortunate. It's kind of silly. Do I think believers aren't uh, living a good life? Well, you know what? I don't. You're all too worried about what's going to happen to you when you die. You're all too hung up on these goofy rules that really have no bearing on real life and reality. You think, uh, you know, like you don't even, you, you pick and choose you know, what parts of the Bible you're going to read, which parts you believe and don't believe in. you got to believe it all. It's supposed to be an infallible, omniscient, omnipotent God, right? It's supposed to be perfect. Then why does he keep making these damn mistakes? Having to kill everybody. <laughs> or telling Joshua and other soldiers to kill people and plunder and rape them and sell them into slavery. And, like, he, 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 it even tells you how to sell your own daughter into slavery, for crying out loud. That's how repulsive that book is. And, and you ask if I think peace is living a good life. I really don't. They can do a lot better without that cloud. Okay, that's my answer. Later. Did I already do this? I might have. We'll have to take a look. Me? I'm just an earthling. <laughs>